Hello everyone, welcome to KM Strict. So today we will study human reproduction. So before starting the chapter, we should know what is reproduction. So what is reproduction? Formation or generation or you can say production of any new offspring or new individual. Offspring means new babies from pre-existing organism is called reproduction. The reproduction, we know that reproduction is mainly of two types, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. The asexual reproduction involves, the asexual reproduction does not involve the formation of gametes while the sexual reproduction involves the formation of gametes. Now the question arises, what is gamete? Gamete is the sex cell or reproductive cell that takes part in the formation of offspring that is reproduction. The male gamete is called sperm or spermatozoa while the female gamete is known as ovum, ova or egg. Now in this video we will cover your topic male reproductive system. It comprises of mainly the first one is a pair of sex glands known as testes. The second is the duct system which constitute vasa afferentia, epididymis, ductus deferens or we also called it vasa deferens and ejaculatory duct. Now the next part is the external genitalia or the copulatory organ that is penis. Now we will study about the testes, its location, its function. The testes is located outside the abdominal cavity and is suspended inside the pouch called scrotum. The scrotum helps to maintain the temperature of the testes 2 to 3 degrees Celsius below the body temperature. And how it is so? That is in summers, that is the muscles of the scrotum undergoes involuntary contraction and relaxation. That is in summer, the muscles of scrotum undergoes relaxation and the testes moves apart from the body. And while winter, the muscles contract and the testes moves closer to the body. Thus, maintain the temperature of the testes. The main function of the testes is the production of the male sex cells or the male gamete called sperm or spermatozoa. Now let us see the structure of the testes. The testes are externally lined by a fibrous lining that is tunica albuginea. And the internal lining of the testes is called tunica vaginalis. The testes internally contained about 250 compartments like you can see in this picture. These compartments are called tubular lobules. Is called testicular lobules. And inside these compartments, there are convoluted tubules called seminiferous tubules. These seminiferous tubules open via rated testes. The rated testes then opens up into these vasa afferentia. The vasa afferentia then opens up into the epididymis. You can see here it is the epididymis and it stores the sperms till the process of ejaculation and till it matures. The epididymis then opens up to the ductus deferens or called vasa deferens. Now let us see the transfer section of the testes. Here you can see these are the seminiferous tubules and its base is lined by the epithelial cells called spermatogonia. In between these spermatogonia, there present these cells called cells of Sertoli and it helps to maintain the rigidity and gives nourishment to these germ cells. These cells in between the seminiferous tubules is called Leydig cells or interstitial cells. 
these cells helps in the production of the male hormone testosterone. Now we will study about the duct system. The duct system of a male reproductive system helps to transfer the spermatozoa from the testis to outside the testis. The duct system starts from the seminiferous tubules and terminates at the urethral opening towards the outside is called urethral meatus. That is the seminiferous tubules opens to these retitestes, these retitestes then opens up to the vasa efferentia, the vasa efferentia then opens up to the epididymis and the epididymis opens up to the ductal deferens or vasa deferens. In this picture you can clearly see the passage or the duct system. From epididymis it opens up to the vasa deferens, the vasa deferens then goes and terminates near the seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle also opens up into this area and forms the ejaculatory duct and this ejaculatory duct is called urethra where all the other glands like prostate gland, bulbourethral or cowper's gland and this is the seminal vesicle all of the three glands opens up here and this tract ends up at urethral meatus. Now we will discuss about the accessory glands or the secondary glands associated with the male reproductive system. The first accessory gland is the prostate gland. The secretion are caused by a kinase of prostate like you can see if this is the prostate gland it has a kinase that is villi like structures that secretes the secretion of the prostate gland that is the prostatic fluid. The function of the prostate gland is it secretes the alkaline fluid that helps to counteract the acidic medium of the vagina. This helps the spermatozoa to survive in the acidic medium of the vagina. The fluid is rich in enzyme like acid phosphatase, amylase and proteases. It also nourishes the spermatozoa. Now we will see the seminal vesicle, the second accessory gland. The secretion of the seminal vesicle forms the bulk of the sperm and releases during the ejaculation only. It does not release before the ejaculation. It only releases during the time of ejaculation. This fluid is rich in citrate, fructose and hyaluronidase enzyme. Citrate and fructose are utilized as fuel by the spermatozoa in the vagina while the hyaluronidase enzymes helps to break down the mucopolysaccharide of the cervix thus facilitates the entry of the spermatozoa. Now the last gland associated with the male reproductive system is the bulbourethral gland and it is also called as Cowper's gland. These are yellow pea sized glands attached to the urethra below the prostate gland. Its function is to secrete a clear alkaline viscous mucus fluid before ejaculation that lubricates the urethral passes and cleanses all the urine that might harm the sperm. Now let us see the copulatory organ that is the penis. It is a highly muscular with erectile and vascular spaces. The tip of the penis has very thin and sensitive skin called purpuse. Here in this area it has a very thin skin. It serves for the passage of urine and semen. It helps to transfer the spermatozoa from the male reproductive system to the female reproductive tract that is the vagina. Now 
the most important thing the student get confused between and write the wrong answer that is the difference between the semen and the sperm. The sperm is not the semen and the semen is not the sperm. Both are the different thing. The spermatozoa along with the fluid secretion like the prostatic secretion, the bulbourethral secretion and the seminal vesicle secretion. When all the three secretions are mixed with the spermatozoa, it makes the semen and press the bell icon so that you will get notification of each of the videos I will post. And also don't forget to comment your questions in the comment section.